Hey, it's Mr. Farmer here. So in the last lesson, if you chose to do your header in Canva, then you should have already uploaded that. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to actually show you similar to what we just did. I'm going to show you how to create your whole entire design with Canva. And so this is perfectly fine if you want to do so. But on the downside, I just want you to know that your words on the website, it won't get picked up by Google search engine because you're using an image rather than text directly in your Google site builder. So uh, the text still is the most important uh, content that you can have. And it is the most easily comprehended by Google search engines. So, um, you know, even if you want to do like the images and the videos and stuff like that, it's really great. It really is, especially starting out. And if you don't really care too much about getting picked up by Google, but you want to have a great design. So we're going to jump right back into it. So what we did in the last lesson was pretty much at this uh, graphic right here. It simply came from this. And so um, if you want to make this brighter, all you have to do is just simply ungroup it and then double click the text go to the transparency and then you can make it brighter like that if you choose to do so and so there you have it uh, we're gonna go to add page and now we're just gonna simply click one of the same templates that we're using and so I'm gonna just make this um, the blue that I have in my brand so I'm gonna double click that and make sure you have your one page brand identity up that way you can go back and forth with it and so we have that so now it's a little bluish. I'm going to add the same blue right here. There we go. And so the um, this is pretty much raise more money with your own branded. This is pretty much what we're going to put right here. And we don't necessarily need that. So I'm going to ungroup it, click on that, delete it. And then you can keep the button on here if you like. And remember, make sure you change the fonts to everything. And so what you can do is, if you want to keep the button, and you just want to add that button onto your website, whenever people click on the button, even though it's an image, you can still take them to wherever you want that button to go. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. And so we're not going to worry about the images just right now. We'll come back and fix all of that. So we just want to get the content in there. So these are pretty much my benefits or the things I'm offering. So I'm going to just go ahead and add that into, let's say, this one. I think this would be cool. No delivery fees. Deliver within five minutes. Rebranded app within seven days. And so we don't necessarily need this unless you want. So if you want to uh, go back to the digi ad and just see what was that, what was the uh, title of that section? So I think it was the our goal for our partnership, our goal for you. We'll say that. Yeah, you can just keep that if you like. So remember, I'm just going to change that color. I'm going to change the text, font, font, font. There we go. Perfect. And so now you should see it starting to come a little bit more alive. And you can see what I mean by really enhancing your website's design with Canva. And so you can just keep going. And uh, we allow fans to access concession items from their seats. So we're going to put that. I think we could probably go back to this one. I like how that looks. We can ungroup it and delete this if we like. I don't think we need that. And I like the big text. The big text makes it pop even more. Roboto. And then it just shows that. You're not trying to bluff or anything. You know exactly what value you're offering. Change the color. Change the font, which is Roboto, which is Roboto. Perfect. And so you just keep going. So with the video, we probably can add, keep the video on here. Or let's say we wanted to 
download this video and this is this is kind of some extra but I just want to give you uh, some work right uh, some workarounds for this so let's say we want to download this video we'll copy the link and let's say download YouTube video to PC let's say online free so you'll just simply paste that link convert it it should download it for you within minutes and what we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to download right there and so boom you will have that video now and if you want it you could just add like let's say another one of these pages right here and if you want it you could go to elements and you can click on like frames and let's say you wanted to put the video either on a TV monitor or a desktop monitor you can just add that monitor right there boom right there then you can go to videos just for the sake of time I'm gonna just choose a video real quick and I'm gonna just add it right in there and so now you actually have a video that you can show on your website inside of this but the thing with this is if you was to download the video you have to download it in mp4 and then you would just upload it that way or you can um, do it in the GIF as well and so just keep going with that and all you have to do now is just simply just download each and every one of these as pings or you can download them all together besides the ones with the videos so I'm going to just download it. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. Should be downloading. There we go. So it's going to download them all into a zip file. You can just simply copy or cut and paste into like your pictures. And then they'll be in there separate. And so now what I'm going to do is same thing we did in the last lesson. I'm going to just go back. And then I'm going to just add all of the graphics that I just created where did my website go there we go so I'm gonna just go back into the website builder and add all of these graphics and I'll change the colors of this red as well so we got to learn more we're going to delete that because we don't need it. We don't need that. We may need that. So I'm going to just add an image, upload, go to pictures, raise more money. Then I'm going to just make that bigger to where it stretches out. And if you wanted to change that image, you can do it in Canva as well. Then I'm going to just change this image to the new one that I just did. Make it pop a little bit more. There we go. Boom. Now we don't need this anymore, so we can change it. Gonna add an image, upload. The third one, I would go. There we go. And you see, it's making it pop even more. Like you really have a total different design to your website which is great and then we'll just keep adding it another one there we go we don't need that we don't need that Let's crop this. So you want to crop it, you click on it, crop. Let's say we bring it down a little bit. Well, it's not going to do too well. We have to crop it before we upload it. Got the image still. And then um, if I wanted to, I would just continue to add these, uh, this content into the graphics. And then I'm going to just simply publish it.
and so it'll give you the draft of what it is and then what's already current pub currently published now I'm gonna go to the themes remember I'm gonna keep my font size let's see where do I find take that blue or we can add the red since we already got the blue designs in it Boom. Now we got the red in there. And you can mess around with it a little bit more, but this is pretty much the basics of taking the Canva design and really designing your entire website with this. And so there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've seen some value in it. And I'll see you in the next lesson.